Hi everybody, I'm finally back um, in a new little play area that is just really too small to take me and all my arty stuff but it'll, it will do for now until Hubby can build my my workshop that um, that is planned. Meanwhile, um, I wanted to show you uh, this envelope I made and <coughs> it's going to go in the post very soon and uh, it's um, it houses some couple of little bits there and all this is for Rita Marie and um, I've cut her some stencils and um, and this is um, her first one this is all to do with a collaboration and um, like it's a collaboration for a year so I'm going to be um, working on the rest of the six months because I'm sending it in two halves I don't know if she realises that yet and so anyway this is the first one this is September's and as you can see I did some uh, clear structure gel on the back like little stars can you see I made it made the page as a pocket and I drew this out from a photo I got um, online and uh, added some little butterflies these are um, these can um, pop up like so I think that one's a stuck down one and this was a die cut that I did on my silhouette as as with the butterflies as well and um, it gave it a nice shaped edge and our thing was was that on every um, on every uh, page we send each other they'll have a black and white area on it no matter where it is there's got to be this black and white because we both love it and so because I made it into a pocket I did a, a fairy for me that represents me and this one is uh, Rita Marie and they're hand drawn and uh, this is all like uh, collage um, no not collage just um, hand painting I did and this was uh, a bit of jelly print so that's Rita and this is me my wings are a little bit on the fuzzy side but it's because I enlarged the image too much to take to take the size I needed for my representation of me so that's my fairy and um, that's hand drawn as well I really like how that come out and she knows I'm fairy nuts, so there's going to be a fairy somehow um, on on all the pages, I reckon, the way it's going. <laughs> so that's that one. And then October, well, of course, being Halloween month, this is my next one. And uh, so I painted um, the pumpkins and, of course, I did the obligatory black and white and I cut some of the pumpkin the smaller one to make it as a pocket that and that is to include uh, my little um, paper doll of uh, another Rita and there she is all folded out her arms and uh, there's her arms and I really love her and she's got a little tutu skirt of purple, orange and lime that's glittered and I just, I just think she's adorable, I really do, I love it and she's got a little broom as well <laughs> so she can hold a broom if she wants and uh, yeah I think she's so sweet and this is a little ribbon bow with a pearl on it but I love her, I love her to bits and she's going to be a print uh, for sale, I think, because she's just so lovely. I think, I think, um, and everybody loves a paper doll. So there she goes, folds up and slots in the pocket as 
as so. So it's like she's hiding between the pumpkins. There's a little broomstick, a besom. And there she is. I just love this one. I really love it. And then the next one for November, I didn't know what to do. So I decided um, to paint uh, a rainbow fairy. And here she is. I've got to mount her on some stiffer card or board or something. And uh, so yeah, this is my rainbow fairy. I love her face. I really love it. She she was a nightmare to do at first. I painted it so wrong. So I gessoed over the face and neck area a couple of times to knock back the colour I put on because I did it too dark and she looked Indian. And uh, which I didn't want for this particular fairy. And then um, once the gesso dried, um, I started painting her, and I really love her now. Her colouring isn't picking up too well on the cut. Uh, what's this? A camera. <laughs> so, coloured wings, hence the name Rainbow Fairy. And I love her to bits. So that's November. So that's three months so far. And, uh, and over the next day or two, I shall be starting December's, which of course will have some kind of um, Christmas theme. And, um, and then January, well, I think that's an obvious one, as is February. So come back again and so you can see the next three I'll, I'll do and uh, and then these three uh, uh, plus the other three I'll do will slot into here and be posted um, and when I post this I shall cover it with ac um, acetate so it doesn't spoil the envelope and I hope she likes it because um, I love it I love it, love it, love it. <laughs> so there we are. That's what I've done over the last two or three weeks or so. Um, and <clears throat> I hope to be back super soon um, with some other stuff um, I've got planned. Um, it's a bit cranked. I mean, I've got, I've got uh, one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I've got thirteen crates of rubber stamps, so I need to sort them out because um, I did used to have them in um, style order and I marked each, each crate, but they gradually, slowly but surely, got all muddled up. So I want to sort them out. Oh no, 14 crates, there's one over there. Gosh. Okay, so next time I'm back, I'll have something else to show you, hopefully. So thanks for stopping by, and um, I look forward to being back real soon. Don't forget, thumbs up and like, and uh, put me on your uh, favourites, and uh, be back again real soon. Cheerio, everybody. It's nice to be back. Ta-da, mates.